Oh, this shit's gonna be hot as fuck, baby. Hmm. Yes, another beautiful place to wake up. And a morning coffee in the hammock. There's Mag showing in the hammock with coffee. Okay, so we're just about to head off. Final morning on the trip because we should be back in La Paz at Tecalote today. Um, nice little cozy home for the night. And uh, made some new friends, which is good. We went over, hung out with them because uh, I spotted another schoolie. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that was really cool. Just hang out with them for a bit of the night then came back and uh, had midnight ceviche. <laughs> um, yeah. So say goodbye to this beautiful beach and uh, hope we can make it to La Paz today. Just to recap quickly, I'm Meg and the guy in the proper helmet is Mac and we're on the last day of our 12 day two up motorcycle trip. After riding to the Mexicali US border and successfully getting new tourist visas and a new temporary import permit for Max Bike, we're on our way back to Playa Tecolote in La Paz. That's where my converted school bus Mo is waiting for me and where Escobar Van Life Festival is about to kick off. We had planned to stay in San Javier yesterday, but if you missed what happened, check out the day 11 video. But today, we figured we had enough time to make the detour and get back to La Paz before dark. Assuming we don't crash. just had this really awesome ride up through the mountains heading to San Javier because that was where it was recommended. Stopped at this overlook here. It is just beautiful. So at San Javier, it's such a beautiful little town. This is the mission. <laughs> Those little fruit trees, like cobblestone here. Just gonna have something to eat. And, um, yeah, little break. We didn't, we missed the gas, so um, we can't actually drive all the way through. We'll have to like detour back, but uh, that's all right. The driver's so nice. Really happy that we made the extra effort to come here today. There you go. Enchiladas mixta. Quesadillas. Beautiful, A beautiful little spot and a cute little dog who wants our food. <laughs> It's so funny, this cute little guy has just not <laughs> not left yeah. wanting food. <clears throat> but you got a collar, you're owned. We need to feed you. Plus, this is spicy. Mm. Like, just ask someone um, if there's anywhere that we could get just like a gallon of gas to make sure we make it to where we need to go, taking the way we wanted to take, instead of having to backtrack to Loretto. Um, so yeah, it was nice enough that the taxi driver said to follow him. To 
this little ranch here and they sold us a gallon of gas. So yeah. we're good to go. I'm told about olive tree, which I'd read about but forgot about. A really 150 year old olive tree, 300 year old olive tree. So it's just behind the mission here. Just going for a walk to find it. Um, completely my fault. I was going too fast and then all of a sudden we just hit the gnarliest, deepest, um, rotted out sand that just came out of absolutely nowhere. I mean the sun coming at me in my eyes, I couldn't really, I could tell it was sand, it was a change in terrain or in whatever, but I couldn't tell how bad it was going to be and by the time we hit it I just didn't have any time to react and we uh, yeah, we, we just we went sideways and we went over the bike and um, I was really worried about Meg. I thought she maybe broke her leg, but it turns out she burned it against the exhaust. I feel absolutely awful. I just feel terrible. I feel, yeah, I just feel terrible. But I'll show you what happened. Like, this is like all hard pack stuff here. All the way down there, we're coming, we're coming, we're coming. You can't really tell. You can see these like trails. I'm like, okay, I'll just follow these trails. I should have went this way. I didn't, it didn't look as deep as it was until you're on top of it. And uh, yeah, I went over here and it just gets super loose. And obviously you can see right here, lost control. And uh, I just went sideways. All good. So teeny little crash in the sand, but like the bike's all good and out now. I bent myself a little bit, um, but aside from that, all good. <laughs> I'm just gonna clean it up a bit, make sort of first aid kit, and we'll change my pants, and uh, we'll take it a little slower. Well, 
so it's getting a little late but really nice sunset <laughs> and yeah just stopped to get gas bathroom and we'll also stop just uh have a break we're just gonna push on to La Paz because we're kind of close and we're familiar with the area and Mac is going to ride it carefully <laughs> In Mo, finally we had another little spill just on the way in. Um, not too far, but really similar to just what happened in the sand. But all good now, and our friends and neighbours came, gave us some wine, and like just yeah, came and welcomed us. It was really, it was nice. It's really nice, nice to be back um, here. Big like party I guess it's because it's kind of like the start of um of Escapa here so it's kind of the karaoke and party and going on down the beach but now have a chill chill night a good sleep in bed and um then we can party tomorrow so Rizlin just came in and put some clay on here to help which um, already feels much better now. I didn't take it before a little video because it was kind of gross. A lot of my skin was coming off, but <sighs> now time for this.